welcome back and let's continue with this section right here so these three yeah table design kind of thing so let's add a main so that's how it that's how we're gonna call it a main inside of the main we have a table with one table row and three table cells each cell will have a class of cell and they will use they will first add another div with a class of circle and the title will be in each vortex and this right here inside the vertex now let's just break it after consecutive whatever that means and magna right I'll explain in a moment why we added a glass of circle yes perfect there we go now for the icon for the icon we will need to include font also so go to fontawesome.com and import your kit if you don't have font awesome just make an if you don't just make an account create a kit and you can import your own so right inside of our html copy paste now we can start to use the icons the first icon i want to use is, is a crosshair perfect there we go and also let's rename it to target crosshair and let's copy this three times so that's how it looks right now let's let's include a second one I'll name this network perfect You are free to use your own icon icons, of course. Right here. Let's rename this to network. And for the last one, I'll use a let's see it uh, terminal. Yes. That's what this icon over here is. The terminal. rename it to terminal all right so we already got them next to each other so next let's create this effect right here this circle blue circle with an icon in the middle so for that let's take our main first let's give our main a width of 100 percent a height of let's pick 500 pixels just random guessing to check how much space we cover so I'm going to give it a background color that's probably gonna be yes perhaps even a little bit shorter than that yeah that's enough all right now let's target each cell circle color so it's these ones and we're gonna give them a fixed width of let's say 80 pixels a height of 80 pixels to check what we're working with a background color perfect now for each icon in the circle we'll make them a little bit larger so Let's try 1.8 a.m. Now perhaps even a little bit longer. Nine. Or 
our left which does double the size. Yes. Now we have to center all the icons. So for that we will make each circle flex. So for that we're, we're adding the flex clause we added in the last video. And finally let's just justify it in the center and align it in the center. Oops. Now let's see why that why that doesn't work. So we talk that as each circle each circle I Oh yeah, I see why. We put these in the wrong class. So let's just add a display flex immediately inside of it. Let's go. And let's have items in the center. Here we go. Now let's make it round. And for that, we're going to use first of all a border. One pixel solid this color, and we are going to give it a border radius of eighty, sorry, fifty percent. So fifty percent will make it a circle. There we go. Perhaps let's make it a little bit bigger. That sounds nice seems nice and let's change the color to one more this all right that's it for the circle okay now let's target this right here so each title should be a little bit bigger so for that we're gonna go to each for each cell H3 because that's what it is I believe. No, H4. And let's increase the font size with perhaps 1.5 EM. Sounds about right little bit of letter spacing that doesn't hurt and let's change color to 555 five, five. yes and now for this right here more or less thing B font size of Let's make it 1.1. .1. We're going to give it a color of kind of gray. So RGB alpha 0 0.4. Perhaps a little bit darker. Perhaps a little bit more, even darker than that. Yeah, sounds about right. Seems about right. Let's add some letter spacing. One pixel. And a line height of 20 pixels. So what this does is nothing. So let's increase that. Now it does. So each line will be separated a bit. And also if each letter will also be separated. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. That's too big. Yeah. So now we have to center all of this. So to show you what we'll do, let's first take the table 
Let me give it a right side scan. You don't have to do this. This is just to show what's coming in. So this is a table. We will now take each cell. and align each text inside of it to the center. So you can see here. And give them all a value of, let's say, 20 pixels. So they will be spaced up. Now, you can notice that all the circles are on the left side and not in the middle. And that's because the, the, these divs and circle divs are not text. So for that, we're gonna add a margin left of outer and margin right of outer. Now they are. Because now we say that each margin left should be automatic. And the same thing for the right. So they will be placed in the middle. Let's remove the color. There we go. Now all for us is left is to make this right in the middle. So let's add a flex clause to the name. Yes. And let's justify everything in the center and align it also in the center. There we go. And let's finish with the name. So you can make it you can make it larger, you can make it smaller. It's up to you to choose what you want to do with it. You can also add this hover effect. Just add the hover tag if you want it. Alright, let's continue. Now we'll add this section over here. So let's begin. Let's add the section, we'll give it an ID. A width of 100%, a height of let's pick 450 and a background color of let's try this. I guess it's this color. Yeah. So next up, let's add all of this. So for that we're gonna put it inside of a div. This div will have a title. The title will be let's subscribe for Envis. And next up, all of this text inside of P tags. And let's put a brick after the laborium. Okay. Perfect. And let's insert a video. So I've chosen why the first video I've uploaded quite a while ago. So to embed it, click on share, embed, and just copy all of this. Let's put it behind the load div. So this is how it looks like right now. So the next Next step is putting them side by side. So let's keep subscription with flex. So they will flex. Yes. And let's give this a fixed height and weight and width. You can see here that the iframe has a width of 560 by 315. So let's give this div the same dimen dimensions. So subscribe with a width of 560 by 315. Let's also give it a background color just to make it obvious. And let's center all of it, both horizontally and vertically. There we go. No. That's something wrong. Pixels. 
There we go. Oops. All right. No. For this, let's call it. Kids. The H two. Let's give it a color of. Mm, yeah, that's grayish color. Font size, of course. A little bit taller, so 1.1 mm. And the letter spacing of 1 pixel. There we go. Perhaps even a little bit larger than that. And let's also make it bold to really pop out. Mm. Yeah, perhaps even a little bit longer than that. Right, that's big enough. Now next up for the stick. Let's give it a color of, say, RGBA 0, 0, 0. 0.4 for that crazy color font size it should be smaller letter spacing can stay the same and the font size is the same right let's see that's too small Perhaps just let's just leave it as a, as one. Yeah. Let's align it all to the right. Sorry, to the left. We have to put it in the parent, so here. Alright, and let's give it a line height of twenty pixels. Oops, there we go. Next up is adding the input fields. So we have an input field that says email address and a subscribe button. But first, I want to separate the text with the video. So let's add a little bit of padding. So for the P, we're gonna give it a padding of let's say 10 pixels just to the right so now they are separated a bit right now for the form so for the two inputs let's add an input of type text with a placeholder that says email address and also a button that says subscribe and let's give this form an ID of mail All right this is how it looks like so let's style it let's style let's style it first let's give the mail a background color so we know where we are working there we go let's give both the mail input and the mail button a font size of let's pick 18 pixels to increase the, to increase the size a bit perhaps 20 yeah 20 is better I guess mm -hmm. a bit of padding yes yeah something like that perhaps let's let's just leave it at 18. Yes, all right. Now, let's make the mail input a little bit wider, so 300 pixels. Yeah, 350. Yeah, all right. And regarding the subscribe button, mm, a width of 120 pixels should do. Yeah, that looks quite alright. No. 
there is a little bit of space between them so to fix that we'll give the male a class of fixed so it will be a display of flex so they are aligned together and let's remove the background color because we don't need that anymore oops now this is how it looks like so far so let's give the button in the background color of 5p a border of one pixel solids and the same color and a text color of white all right let's make it a little bit rounded so for that we want to give both the button and the input a border radius of three pixels there we go with that though the border on this input becomes very thick so to fix that let's go to the input make the border one pixel solid and also a very light color to a little bit of grayish and not this thick black just like in the original there we go and this email address is also quite grayish while in the original it's a little bit lighter so for that oops we need to target the input but not the input itself but the input placeholder and we're going to give it a color of non white RGBA5. Let's check it out. Yeah, that looks alright so far. But now let's make these two radio button, let's make these two align together. So for that, the button will have a border radius. Oops. Left. So the bottom top left radius will be zero and the same thing for the bottom one and for the input it will be the opposite so top right top right there we go as you can see now they are aligned together if this gets focus or this gets focus they become black so let's fix that Let, let's do it below so for the male inputs when it gets a focus same thing for male button we want the outline to be one pixel solid let's see which color he used here it's a quite a fine blue color so let's take the other one the tree one and so on yeah that looks quite all right perfect we are almost done we only need to add two more sections, the social media part and the contact page. So let's begin. Under the section of subscribe, we'll add another section, we'll call it, let's see, touch, it doesn't really matter how we call it, let's give it an idea of touch, but let's make touch and the entire width so a width of 100% a height of let's say 400 pixels in a background color to see how big it looks yeah that it has it looks to be the same same height as this one so let's copy it so the subscribe div is 450 so this will also be 450 there we go it has a little bit of text above this right here and a list of icons let's remove the color by the way so 
so inside of the touch let's add a quote because that's what they are quote that says I'll just copy this yes next up is this get in touch with social media so we'll make that page two and finally a list of icons so let's add all the list excuse me and all the list now let's also now we don't need to we don't need to span it with number diff we can just center all of this without it without a diff that. all right now let's style it up so for the quotes we'll give it a color of rgba5 and let's make it italic so font family sorry, font style italic yes after loud and teal, we have to make it make it break. So let's put a break right over here, and let's make it a little bit darker. Yeah. Let's also make it bold. To make it really pop perhaps a little bit lighter yes now next up is uh, get in touch with social media so for that we will target uh, h2 in stage 3 uh, h2 and we'll give the h2 a let's see let's think the font size that's a little bit bigger and a color of 555 it has to be much bigger but not that big Yeah, that looks all right. And also a little sp letter spacing of one pixel. Yeah, that's fine. Let's make this entire part flex. And just like always, justify content center and align center. right next up to make it below each other and not to the right we're gonna give it a flex direction of row sorry column there we go all right next up is are these icons so for that we will use font awesome Okay, so here in the unordered list, let's add some list items. And we're gonna pick Facebook. Of course, you are free to use which I whatever icon you want. So for each icon you pick, just go to the icon and copy this and put it right inside of the list. I will be doing this and skip forward. As you can see, I've picked a few icons, a little bit of social media. You can choose your, your own icons. Now let's make them look like this. So for that, each list in our UL, let's target it. So first of all, touch list no no just the touches you will let's remove that list style so we remove the bullets 
Next step, let's make each list. Yeah, I'm just let's just leave it like that for now. Each list i, so the i in, in each list. Give it a font size of 1.3 am to make it a little bit bigger. And a color of white, they should be white. So for that, we're gonna give the list a background color of, let's give it 0.2. As you can see, it looks kind of like it. Let's give each list a width of 50 by 50. Yeah. And let's make this flex. So they are next to each other and not below each other. And a width of Perhaps no, no, no. four hundred. And a justify content space between. So they are evenly spaced out. Now four hundred is too much. So let's make this three hundred fifty. Three hundred. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's increase the font size and make the border radius of our list, so the background, 50% so they are perfect squares. Yes. Now you can make them smaller if you want. I'll just leave them like this. And the icons to make them centered, so I'll give you the display flex. Justify content center and same thing for the align. There we go. Now once again you can make them smaller by adjusting the values we gave in. So lastly we have to give them this hover effect. So for that each each list item we hover upon will have a background color of this. Yes, also a pointer and let's make it fade in so it doesn't just spontaneously show up but like smooth, like animates. So for that, we get, we'll first give it a cursor of pointer and a transition that's easy. 0.3 seconds and ease in. There we go. Let's put it over there. I've put it on the wrong. I, it has to be here. There we go. And finally, we'll just add this little section and then we're done. Because this video is already too long, I'll just, I'll just take a shortcut. So I'll just make these two paragraphs but you can make this a list with links and make this a link as well and this as well. So you can just span them and to make them a link. I'll just let them be paragraphs. So let's add the last section below. We'll call it contacts. Give it a background color of red, just like always. A width that spans the entire container. And a height of, let's try 100 pixels. Let's see. That's too short. Let's make it 150. Yeah, that looks more like it. All right, I'll just add two pieces. You can make it a list if you want. I'll just copy it like a hard-coded text. Same thing for the other one. 
there we go and give it another color so the color will be background color excuse me six is there we go color of five five yeah color spacing of one pixel and finally let's center all of this so we're gonna give this section our class of flex and let's just copy this there we go now they have to be under each other so for that we're going to give flex direction of column yes as you can see there is a little bit of margin in between them so we're going to target the piece and Let's make the margin zero for now. Or perhaps five. That's too much. One. Let's just leave it like that. Zero. And let's just manually add a little bit of padding. Two pixels. Five pixels. Yeah, that looks all right. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video.